Well, you know, as a young father and a, a man now in my late thirties, I remember when we went to high school, and about sixty percent was white. And you know, for some reason, we never really got into that type of altercations with with the white students. The white students was cool. Yo, they would invite us to the house parties. Hope you go hang out. You know, the the, the parents in there for the weekend. We go over there, hang out, drink. You know, do teenage stuff, right? And you know, the funny thing is, we never got into fights. They were always cool. When we come over, the families would treat us like family. Make sure, hey, you, you want something to eat? Ask your friend if you want something to eat. They were just like family. So I don't understand how that was like in the early 2000s, like 2004, 2002, around that, right? And now, 20 somewhat years later, you're telling me racism is at its height now than 20 years ago? And then you want to tell me that this was not programmed? Hmm? That this was not created? This is created racism. This is programmed racism. Because there's nowhere we 20, 20 somewhat years ago was chilling with the white folks. You know, all of us cool. We hang out. Like, yo, you got a cigarette? He'll be the lookout for me. I'll look out for him. That's the way it used to be. We all had each other back, no matter what race you were. Now, race, race this, race that, race. Like, how are we going back in reverse? It's like we're going back to the 1960s. There's no way we're supposed to be evolving, not devolving. Nah, man, we got to do better, man. We came from then to now. And it's like no progress was made. I mean, we had progress, but it was just stripped away from us. We can't have created racism dividing all of us. We're all humans at the end of the day. With that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. For what? For what? What you gonna do? Weak ass shit. Shut your ass up, man. Go ahead and get walking. Yeah, ain't no taking this shit. Take the f***ing walking, man. I'm set. I'm taking both. What you gonna do? Go ahead and get walking. I'm gonna burn you right here. Burn me with what? I'll burn you with what? Peck of wood. Yeah. Notice he's backing up. Yo, what you gonna do? Yeah, record that shit. Thug like gangway. I'm from Tulsa. Thug like now when they on the set. He run up. I'm gonna burn his ass. I'm gonna burn his fat ass. Oh my mama. What? You? I burn this. I burn it. Shut up. You look dumb. You look like a clown, sir. Why are you talking about gangs and set? Right now, you're saying you're a man. So you're a man, and he's a man. This has nothing to do with gang. Settle it like a man. Nah, you guys notice that, right? Now he's talking about guns. Come on, man. Man up. Be a man, right? That's why you got to look up to that man. He ain't backing down from you, even though you're calling him racial slurs. You hear what he said, right? Get out of here with that. Yeah, because it's old, watered down. Nobody got time to hear them stupid stuff. Oh, you this down in the third, racial slurs. Grow up. That man ain't backing down from you. It's being a man. That's the way you got to handle this stuff now, man. You can't have these guys two feet tall bullying you. You better know something. Oh, you're right. <laughs> nah, enough is enough. Stand up for yourself. I'm going to burn your man. What? Wait, what? Show ass out the show. Show ass out the show because you doing what he's talking with your broke ass. You go! You act like you're chilling in this pocket. You know damn well you got nothing in that pocket, so we watch that pocket. Ain't nothing in there. Act like you're reaching. You scared. My man, all you had to do was give him that low key treatment. Not be bullied by that. Puny God. That's right. Your mom, shout out to my man. He didn't bat down at all. He was trying to bully that guy because he's white and he's black. My man, you like four feet tall. He's like about eight feet tall. You ain't winning that. You, he saw. That's why he didn't keep on instigating all of He know that white boy wasn't backing down. <laughs> Good for him, man. About time people start to stand up for themselves. Enough with the racist nonsense. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Yo, he football tackle him. Stop. 
That security guard had it now. Yo, he football tackle him. What's the number to 911? Oh, for backup. It ain't yours. Oh, Lord. He's backup, backup. That's her job. You guys know this on the, on the shirt, right? It said all purpose security. That means she secured every single thing. We secured the world, Craig. The world. I want more. Yeah, we need this for security. Poor little girl got to see that. Yeah, damn. Here you go. What is that? Uh. Ma, don't come back. What was that? She ain't playing. Wow, so he put the um he put one of the beer inside his pants like come on man that you, you really thirsting for beer that much really man then again alcoholics man it's almost like you know it's, just, it's well it is an addiction so you know you gotta get you gotta get that juice i don't know where i felt like i get a little drink around right? here do you bud that's nasty, nasty. out damn store he got that drink oh, <laughs> don't touch me. Don't touch you while touching that stuff. Wow, look how much clothes. That's battery. That's against the law, not store policy. <laughs> that battery, that's against the store policy. Shut up! Y'all the reason why this is the way it is. Stop protecting your stores. You can imagine the entire United States of America. This was happening in every state. You know what would happen to the economy? Do you, sir? Or maybe you're just one of those woke individuals. Hmm? Enough is enough. You got to stand up for what's right. You can just walk. Look how much clothes they taking. You can't have that happening every single day. Yeah, guess what would happen? That store will now close down. And then you have no way to go shop. And no jobs. Unless you want to take that two-hour drive. Huh? Is that how you're feeling? I thought so. Shut up. Get that clothes, my man. Wait. Oh, y'all just stealing in an Audi. <laughs> Looks like an Audi. Unless I'm mistaken, it looks like an Audi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Fight the power. <laughs> wow, that's sad, man. I was right. I know my cars, man. Damn shame. You driving an Audi. Those cars ain't cheap, but you all just stealing clothes. You get, get your priority straight. You can't afford that car. Get a hoopty. Get a regular car. Get something cheaper. Something affordable. Where you can afford that and afford clothes at the same time. Instead of having to go steal. Come on, man. Come on. You know what's wrong with people now? People are too hypnotized by material things. When they can't afford it, instead of going to work harder to afford it, they want to take the shortcut and go steal it. Got to do better, man. Talk about battery, that's an assault. Store policy. Man, shut up. You're part of the problem, man. Can't have people just doing whatever they want. Society won't last that long. It won't. Then guess what's gonna happen after that? They're looking to try to come and rob you in your own house. You think it's gonna stop there when all the stores leave? No. They're looking to rob you. They're robbing people in broad daylight now. So take your woke ideas. 
and shove it up. Right? Shove it real far. <laughs> I can't stand people like this, man. Society is getting worse and worse and worse. Are you talking about policies? Huh? How come they didn't obey the laws, huh? Hmm? Exactly. That man is doing his job. Let him do his job. That, what in the world security is there for? Huh? If you just wanted to come in and steal, why hire security? <laughs> come on, man. Hey, it's crazy, man. You know the funny thing is, when you, when you go back to the, the first video, the guy calling um the white security guy racial slurs. The sad part about it, man, these type of individual, half of them cannot fight to save their life. That's why you see the majority of them now are shooting or they got knives. They got weapons on them. Can't take a good ass whooping. Most of them can't. That's why I call them punks. Because they got to resort to a gun when they're trying to fight somebody with hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's what we used to do it back then. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, man. Take your ass whooping, look to see you another day. There was no threatening to shoot. There was none of that, man. Because we knew better. There was no reason to go that. There was no reason to go that far. One on one, man to man, the better man walk off. Shake hands is done. That's the way it used to be. Too bad these days, teens at the age of 12, 13, 10 years old, they got guns. You see what you see? What you see? What the problem is? You see where society is going? You talking about policies? Yeah, okay. Tell that to these young ones coming up about store policies and see if they listen to you. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.